I'm going to space. And it'll be the first time that an academic grant funded NASA enabled scientists will go to space doing their own experiment as opposed to being a professional NASA astronaut. This experiment is, is the latest in a fairly long line of experiments that are dedicated towards using commercial suborbital vehicles to understand, in our case, what happens to biology as it leaves the surface of the Earth and heads into space and comes back. We've done many, many experiments on, on the space station or in the space shuttle. But what we haven't been able to do very effectively is see how biological organisms, and in our case plants, respond to the transition from a terrestrial environment to a spaceflight environment. And so these blue origin flights, these suborbital flights, allow us to now sample how plants are responding at that transition before they, uh, before they fully adjust. What I have as part of the experimental package is I have a series of eight very specialized tubes called KFTs, and they contain the plants plus a fixative in a highly contained safe environment. And each of those act as an experimental unit. Two of them will be activated before the flight. Two of them will be activated just after the booster finishes getting us into space. Two of them will be activated just before re-entry. And then two more will be activated once we get back on the ground. So this will give us the ability to sample the four very critical parts of the flight regime in order to understand the transition that biology experiences at the molecular level. When NASA also opened the door for researchers to fly with their own experiments, that became an extraordinary capability to have someone who knows the experiment best to be able to actually actuate the experiment in real time. And that's where Rob got the opportunity to do that. And that's what's making history today. We feel like we're opening up new doors for people to go to space simply because they're curious about space. One of us, it's super exciting. It, it, it's the kind of thing that keeps you up late at night, that wakes you up early in the morning and makes you feel a part of, of something very, very special. To actually go, yeah, unbelievably exciting. <laughs> it's extraordinary. <laughs>